So here at Embedded World, Cadence has announced the new Tensilica Connects B20 DSP. That DSP was designed to meet the needs of the next generation radar, LiDAR, and communications processing for 5G. So radar today is very good at looking at long distances, detecting objects there, and in bad weather, but it's not very good at resolving things at a distance. So we need higher resolution. Higher resolution means way more antennas, thousands of antennas in case, some cases. So a lot more processing is required. For LiDAR, it's very good at high resolution. It's just that the sensors are too big and expensive. So there's a, a mission now to push those down into smaller form factors, going solid state. And that requires the same processing, but now in a small form factor. So we need to make sure that we have much more energy efficient processing so that we don't end up with heat dissipation issues or power issues there. And then for 5G, there's a need for much higher throughput. We've all been promised lots of bandwidth and lower latencies as well. Again, a lot more processing required. So with the B20, what we've done is we've added some more options for our customers to meet those needs. We already have 16-bit fixed point and single precision floating point. So we've added 32-bit fixed point and also half precision floating point to, the, to that mix, to that choice. And in addition, there's an option to go twice the width on the single position floating point if you need even more. And then finally, for communications, when you're looking at doing forward error correction in low bit rate uh, circumstances, uh, then we have a, an acceleration option for that as well for software-defined radio. With all of these options now and that B20 at the high end of the Connects range, there's a lot more choices for our customers to choose different power performance area points for pretty much any design that they're doing. And if you need more information, please go to cadence.com.